it's time to paint. So I've just been getting ready for that. So first I had to unbolt tow ball and jockey wheel. And then I'm using this to get rid of all the rust. So obviously there's rust where I've welded, but there is still an old floor there. So I've got to get to work on that. It's going to take a while and it's going to be a pain in the ass. So I've been on the wire brush for about know, an hour. It came off pretty easy, but you can't really see it. But it's a lot cleaner than what it was. I got a lot of the old paint off and I got just, it had just surface rust on it, which is no big deal. But yeah, I've got to do a little bit more underneath. So I've got to lay on my back and grind some crap off. But other than that, it's not too bad. I want to take the wheels off just so I can paint in behind them a little bit better and underneath them a little bit better and then I can tape up the drum and the bolts and stuff on the leaf suspension so I'm just going to get a bottle jack on the axle lift the rear up get an axle stand each side we're on a bit of a slant so I'm going to hammer in a star picket at the back there and get a heavy ratchet strap and just ratchet around that bit of steel there and just to hold it so it doesn't roll forward because when I take the wheels off we're not going to have a handbrake anymore and I'll tell you why we're definitely not going to have a handbrake so yes still more to do before we paint from the old floor. <sighs> Morning guys. Just about to pull these wheels off. Um, just so I can get in behind there and sand that, uh, wire brush that steel a bit better. And it'll make it a bit easier to paint in there as well. I start picking in the ground. A strap, just hanging onto it. Should be enough. Morning. What a messy garage. Stuff everywhere. So I'm painting this morning. <clears throat> we borrowed, we're gonna spray. We borrowed this compressor. It's ancient, but it'll do the job. From these cool guys across the road. You know, I only met them a couple times, but we got chatting and they said they had a compressor and that we could borrow it. So that was really cool. Um, it's just something I've never had a need to get one really, but yeah. So, got our turps, just for cleaning up. We've got a primer in the medium gray. So that's an undercoat, we'll do two coats of that. And then we've got our top coat. And we've gone for the aluminium gloss finish, which is essentially a silver. But these were both from Bunnings. The undercoat was 70 bucks and the top coat was just over a hundred. And it's sunny today, so I'm gonna start on one of the undercoats. Got my drums covered. I'm not gonna worry about covering the leaf springs because I'm not gonna be like spraying them directly, but even if I get paint on them, it's not really gonna matter. I might just drape something over them anyway. But yeah, we're up on axle stands. So we have a floating van. And I've got all my rust off, I think I've already showed you that. That's the old chassis there. And that's the new stuff. So, the new stuff obviously doesn't need much prep. Yeah, I'm gonna start mixing some paint.
just realized I can't talk to you while the air compressor is going. Actually, I have an emergency P2 mask in here for when shit hit the fan. Um, and it cost me $15 because it was when there was a P2 shortage locally here um, and you couldn't get them anywhere. So this was my emergency one that I bought that cost 15 bucks. Disposable. I'm gonna take that out there to him. Good morning. Um, as you'll see, Pete's doing the painting of the chassis and the drawbar. Um, and I have to talk now because the compressor's turned off. So he's already finished the first layer, but I wanted to show you what we were using. The compressor is actually from a neighbor over the road who happened to have one, which is good because then we didn't have to rent it. Um, and we went to Bunnings and this is the head that we are using. And the paint that we decided to go with was the Rust Guard. I think that was most people's preference. Um, I did think about the, what are they called, speckled look, um, but it has a rough finish and Pete thinks he doesn't know like if the chassis is going to rub with other bits and pieces and it not quite work, but um, that's what we've done. Peter's just doing the first layer now and then we'll see how it dries. We are in winter, so it is cold and it is freezing overnight, literally. Um, so we might only be able to do one layer a day, do it in the morning, give it all day and all afternoon to dry, but we'll see how we go. I think I just showed you that Max had a little go, but then that spot I'll take you to now. He held it too close and then we got a drip. So then we tried to like scrape off the drip to re-dry, to repaint. Um, and I think we made a bigger mess, but anyway, even if there's a mark there that shows where Max helped, so that's okay. It wasn't a mistake, it was where he helped. And uh, I managed to get a mask for Pete, and Peter needs to dip his sunnies and clean them off. Might, might ruin the bits. That, that, who's that YouTuber that sprays his sunnies? Casey Neistat. Yeah. How's the, the max helping area in there? Well, at least we'll always look at that and go. That's what I, go. yeah, did, yeah. But those scratch marks, that's not from Max doing it. That's from you wiping it off. Yeah, I said to, to do it when it's dry. Try not to do it. And uh, instead of doing it when it was dry, you did it when it was half wet. And, uh, You're up. You'll never know. Yeah, we will. I'll oh. put a tap there. What are you getting your pins out for? The views? <laughs> Missed a few spots in here, babe. Couldn't see. It was really hard. That's alright. Hello, day two of painting. We didn't end up putting a second base coat on yesterday. Um, I think we're going to stick to one coat a day. Being that it gets to the minuses, it's between like minus one to three degrees overnight, and it's still, you know. At 10 o'clock, it's still three or four degrees. So we're just gonna do one coat a day. Something we forgot yesterday was we forgot to paint the brackets that hold up the water tanks. So Pete quickly did that this morning, um, and they'll get they'll get the amount of coats that they need to. Um, if you're wondering why I'm wearing the same clothes as yesterday, that's because I believe you should wear your clothes more than one time before washing them. Um, hello, Millie. What are you doing? Hey, hello. What you got in your hand? Oh, you got a bell. Does it ring? Yeah. Show me. Beautiful.
Pretty good. So that's the second layer of the base. Mm -hmm. Done. Good morrow, everybody. It's actually been two days in between clips. We're gonna do, Pete's gonna do the first coat. The first top coat for the chassis. So that'll be good indication to what it looks like, the color. A bit nervous, anyway. Um, a bird did a poo on the front of the chassis here. And um, Peter wiped it off and it wiped a heap of paint off with it. So he had to sort of just brush it on with a brush. So that was a pain. But it's been now a couple of days since the second coat. So that should be nice and sealed and dried enough for this top coat. No. No. So we live on the Victorian New South Wales border, which means... Um, Victoria is the state that's completely uh, lost control of COVID at the moment. So, because of Melbourne, um, so Melbourne's lockdown is still happening, but here in regional Victoria, we're still greatly affected, even though there's no cases. So, we're here in Wodonga, but we're a split town, so half of our shops and residents over on the New South Wales side of the border of the Murray River um, and a lot of the shops. So say Bunnings, there's a Bunnings here but it's about a quarter of the size of the Bunnings that's in Albury that has everything. So we would have to wait for stock to come in whereas Albury's got it. Um, as of today or tonight um, they're making the restrictions being able to cross the border even tighter so now it's going to be within the bubble and only being able to cross for essential work and essential services. Um, and unfortunately, my job is not essential work. So I'm hoping that it's not going to last very long because um, I'm kind of paying for it, the bills at the moment. And um, so I'm very stressed, very stressful time at the minute but um, we're just going to keep moving forward how we can where we can and um, yeah it's a really nice weather day today so hopefully it'll be a really nice painting and um, yeah so we'll roll that I'm pretty sure some of that squirted into my uh, coffee a little taste test Turpy taste test. Oh, poor. It stinks like it. Let's get drunk. Oh, taste it. Oh, it was, and then I got turps in it. Splashed out, out of the bucket into the coffee. That one. Blocked. It looks cool though. We've had to add some thinner and see if that's gonna help. Still doing it. It's definitely darker than I thought it was gonna be, although in the sunlight that's the colour that I thought it was gonna be. But it's Obviously some of it's in the shade, but it's a nice reflective silver. Looks really good. These are the brackets. Ooh, it's a little bit spotty in here, babe. Yeah, look, I'm looking at this, yeah, in the set. Oh, 
No, I was talking about like along there, like it's a yeah. bit spotty, but well, floor's going down on that. Yeah, I should, I should be doing the first. Like you know how at the start it was a bit shitty, coming out of the. Yeah. I should be practicing the engine or getting it right in here, then going to the drawbar. Instead of starting yeah, at the right. drawbar. Yeah. Top coat. Oh, money. Yeah, I dropped a dollar. Money. Uh, yuck. If Peter's known for one thing, it's definitely band-aids. They just slip off in the Oh, that's thing, disgusting. <laughs> Very good. Well, you might have to pick this up tomorrow. Are you going to paint tomorrow? Or are you going to leave it another day? Uh, no, I'll paint tomorrow. But probably... I don't want to do it at this time again, because that sun, I couldn't see what I was doing. Yeah. The sun was coming in that way. It's so like 11 in the more, morning's pretty well, good. When it's, yeah, straight on the top, it was good. I've got an appointment for Eli to do a lung function test at 11 tomorrow. And because um, the border's closing, I think I might just go and stay at my parents' house, which is in New South Wales, to avoid three hours on the freeway. Paint all over your mouth. Morning, guys. Day number four and coat number four. Coat number three came up pretty well, being the first top coat. So yeah, last coat today, and then we can start getting the floor in. Yeah, that's the top coat of the top coat. It's a nice color. It's definitely nicer in the sunlight. In the shade, it definitely seems a lot darker. Overall, we are very happy. It looks like a completely new, well, it is a new chassis, <laughs> but it looks like a, like a new van. If you're wondering what those little bits are, that's socks. It's my socks. Fluffy sock bits. <laughs> but the floor goes on that, so. Yeah, that's fine. Follow your thumb. Oh, that one wasn't as clean, back. I don't know. Oh. <laughs> they're, they're actually nipple. nipples. Nipples. <laughs> nipples. What happened to your thumb, by the way? No, they chopped it off. Cut an onion. No. Come on, focus. Through the nail. It was this. Cut that spring onion. Gets you every time. It's delicious. <laughs> it's worth it. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. If you can, give us a like and we'd love for you to subscribe. Um, next week's video, we are installing and hooking up the electric brakes um, and we're also getting a head start on the flooring. So thanks so much for watching. See you next one. <laughs> I think this video is going to be long enough. Bye bye.